Dollar says camera off, microphone off. Oh, I owe you guys a dollar. Pen no. Ha! <laughs> ha! Camera fucking on. Sorry, already dropping f bombs. It's all good, ladies and gentlemen. Let me have it up. Hell yeah! Hell yeah, brother! Woo! Dude, thank you for kicking uh, in and partying. Gavin's MIA right now, but uh, he should be here pretty soon. No worries. We'll, we'll get it started. Uh, dude, could you please properly introduce yourself? Let me know whereabouts in the world you're kicking it right now and uh, plug or promote anything you'd like. Are you muting the stream? Yeah, so, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, I was accidentally on the stream still. Um, yeah. Pr promote and plug. What's up? Uh, I'm Patrick. Uh, I play guitar. I sing in Lonely Avenue. Gavin, our singer and drummer, will be here any moment now at some time. Uh, yeah, uh, alternative rock, pop punk, uh, emo. We're kind of doing that like emo kind of trap stuff now, too. I don't know. We're kind of all over the place. Uh, just dropped our new song, Blame You, with Gavin Excellent. singing on it. Uh, I'll rip the Band-Aid off right now. Our singer left the band a few months ago but uh all good all mutual stuff still much love for casey uh still love our old catalog attack on robot pirate island is probably one of the best experiences making and uh putting out some of the best song writing that i think any of us have ever done so uh, yeah thank that's you a... for having us on hell yeah that's a hell of a plug right there dude how long have you guys yeah. been active so Gavin and I have been playing music together for, okay, so I'm 27, for about 13 years. So I was 14, Gavin was 12, and his family moved in like a couple doors down from my place. And um, I was playing, oh, hey, there's the guy right now. There's Gavin right now. Oh, look, Gavin doesn't have his camera on. You called that one. Yep, called it. Uh, yeah, so we've been jamming for like 13 years. Um, ben, Ben, best friends, there he is. What's up, dude? Ben, best friends, and yeah. Uh, it's been a really cool experience, like growing up together and just always creating music together. And so, um, yeah, it's it's really cool that uh, that we've been able to do this together for so long. Hell yeah. And you guys were been in multiple projects together or was it always Lonely Avenue? So, yeah, it started off as um, Gavin and I were like doing our own thing and he and Casey um, were doing their own thing and we basically just conjoined those and that was the creation of Lonely Avenue. Um, we also had um, our own thing like around 2015 we left Lonely Avenue for a couple years and we did um, our own thing called End the Fight. That was like just straight easy core, like like Chunk Note. We, we played a good number of shows with Chunk Note Captain Chunk back in 2015. And so, yeah, we just had fun doing that stuff. And then, yeah, just um, ended, Gavin ended up going back to Lonely Avenue like, within a year and then I rejoined back in a couple years after back in like late 2017 and then yeah it was kind of like the 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 band's back together and then yeah just been ripping it up again since since that is Lonely Avenue awesome Gavin how are Yo. you today sir yeah we needed that you needed the kick to get it to get it re restarted all over again yeah, like that that split happened in 20 yeah, like end of 2014 into 15 and just being more responsible for the songwriting, the production, the like the themes of everything, like it just it it, it put it into our own control finally and it it was a really good growing phase, you know, like I I wouldn't take back that situation happening. Like literally four fifths of the band left and shit was, you know, it sucked for a minute and it was kind of a gnarly like wake up call, but it 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 awoken the the musician creator and all of us like to a whole different extent. So what, I'm what, grateful for that lesson. 
I'm glad we were able to bring it back together and keep making, you know, more milestones. What was the, the key thing that you guys were like, you know what, let's get the boys back together and restart the project. What what occurred that, that made it come back? So, honestly, like, the four-fifths thing happened and Casey, the singer, he was, like, still going. He recruited new members. He went full ham on the project. He actually did really good while we weren't there and we were a little, like, kind of jealous, you know, kind of being like, fuck, like, did Bang we up. really, like, kind of screw ourselves over and um, you know, that inspired us too, because we we're like, nah, screw that. We got to keep going. Just go harder, go harder. And props to Casey for doing what he did while we were gone, um, and holding it down for us. And then, yeah, what happened is at the, I think it was the end of 2016. It was, I'm pretty sure. And then I, I rejoined cause they needed a new solid drummer to just, you know, make shit happen. It was so weird rejoining a band that you kind of started but then it was like all new songs all new members i had to like re relearn like new songs that is weird. And I was just like Rub stuff weird but it was really cool because um they all lived together they had like the lonely casa and they were literally like all living in the same house and honestly that probably contributed to the productivity of the band and that's when gabe joined so gabe's not here right now on the stream but who, um gabe who? he plays bass um he, um, yeah, so Gabe, our bass player, joined when we left, and so he's been the bass player for Lonely Avenue since, like, late 2014, so, yeah, it was kind of like, like, he always, he was, he's been there since, and through that time, too, so it, it was really cool, and yeah, it was just, what, what really brought it back together was just like, yeah, like, we, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm kind of a prima donna. So we, I, I, we, Casey and I had some dumb little beef as kids. We were like, let's see, 2014. So I was 18 and Casey was 17. So like we were kids being dumb kids. And then, yeah, like a couple of years later, we were like, that was stupid. Right. And so, yeah, we were like, okay, like, let's do this again. And this is Casey that's singing in this song right here for Ashlyn. Yeah. Yeah, Casey sings everything up until our new single "Blame You." Okay, so I want to play. I want to do where where you guys went, oh, you yeah. started, and then we'll go into the new stuff. So this is Ashlyn. Let's do it. If you guys are feeling it, are you guys still on Triumphant? Yeah, with Greg. So, uh, with Greg. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're okay. still on them. Uh, yeah. Cool. Greg's the homie. Oh, yeah. Casey writes some of the most catchy stuff, like like genuinely like it's it's yeah it's crazy <laughs> how did you find how did you find the new singer once casey left so um we Gavin's in the mirror singing now yeah we looked oh. in the mirror <laughs> oh okay so you're you're so you're doing all the vocals from the drums now yeah uh, so. I do. I, yeah i've been doing drums so like i'm not sorry and a couple of other songs on our spotify i've uh, like i have vocals on those songs and i've been doing the drumming singing gig even like so when the end the fight thing happened in 2015 um that was kind of our thing is we were a three-piece band where everyone had like a fair rationale of of singing so everyone was singing parts and and doing stuff live and i think that really contributed to the live energy um, but yeah, I've been drumming and singing for days, but on like blame you specifically, that'll be one where I leave the kit. Um, and I'm just going to like sing straight up. So the live show will consist of me singing and drumming, standing and singing. Do you have just like drumming? Do you have a tech the... like jump in on the kit then? Or do you just play like a backing track in that scenario? That w I mean, for right now, it's just going to be a, a backtrack with boosted drums. Um, but eventually I would love to have a tech that could come in or like, even just have like a buddy band that we play a lot of shows with that I'm really cool with the drummer and they can just come in and play like two of our songs live. Cause we got, we got this other band shout out uh, every other year and their drummer Matt is a beast and uh, we want to do some shows with them cause they're LA local. Um, I guess maybe a little bit more South, but, um, but like if he, I would be honored to have him play some of our songs on drums while I sing, cause that the, you you can't beat the the live energy of having a drummer. You know, it's just not the same. But never, but never full full lead singing while drumming, like Hail the no, Sun yeah, style. Not, not this song. But some some yeah, songs you can you can do that. Like it's not 
an issue because I, oh, yeah, in yeah, my, I can't yeah. drum and I can't sing very well, but doing the two at the same time, I feel like I'd be concentrating on one or the other and I would like miss a fill or get off time yeah, or something. Honestly get into a trance bro like it just like it happens sometimes you'll fuck shit up but like it, you know for the most part it's fairly fluid cool yeah well, and like yeah a lot of the and also a lot of the other songs so like it'll it's kind of like so this new song blame you yeah it's, it has all gavin and then like the we're, we're actually gonna drop a new song i guess technically next month that's like a split between gavin and i and then because like so we'll we'll kind of do a like a Tom and Mark sort of thing. Yeah, okay. like Fives. that's kind of like that's the whole the like Yeah. I can dig it, I got you. Uh before we play Blame You, I was hoping that you guys both brought some hot sauce so we can do some trivia. Gavin, do you happen to have any hot My sauce? Issue, I'm still I'm still at work. Um they don't have any hot sauce here and um Pat's got plenty, I got it. So he's gonna take care of the hot sauce okay. for me, but um I'm gonna have to do it. all the kick flips. We got you. Our, our kickflip challenge. <laughs> All right. So the cool thing about the trivia, though, is you guys get to pick the trivia. Now, what I mean is what movie or TV show could you guys agree on that you've seen so many times where if I ask you trivia on this movie or TV show, you will not get stumped? <clears throat> oh, God. Uh, I mean, like Pat Step I, Brothers? Like, what movie? Like Step Brothers. I could do pretty yeah. well. Um. Uh, or let's see. I'm just trying to think I'm of like, what I'm trying to think of things that you know. Like honestly, out of pop culture or just even, like most culture, I'm kind of a loser. Um but uh <laughs> honestly, I mean we yeah, could do like, what Futurama. I... We could do Futurama and I could literally carry you the entire time. <laughs> I got a lot of Futurama I'll trivia. Carry trivia unless it's some shit about Legend of Zelda. <laughs> I do have uh, a lot of Futurama trivia, so that, that would work. Let's do Futurama. I'll, I'll carry it. I'll do all the hot sauce. I'll regret all my decisions tomorrow morning. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> We're hanging out with Lonely Avenue. If you guys are feeling it, please, please, please hit the follow button. Support them. It's a new one, and it's called Blamey. Yeah, thank you all for being here. Thank you, local band Smoke. Thank you for joining. Do you who who does your production when you guys go record a single? So we uh, produced. I recorded like almost like most of this stuff in my LA apartment, and Pat came through yeah. and retracked his guitar. And then our homie uh, Ethan, shout out Ethan, Tobacco Bowl. Uh, he's been doing our mixing as of late. Um, so we just send him all of our stems. He sends it back to us, um, and then we give him notes, and then we take the instrumental. Send it off to my homie Chris. Shout out Chris, and he's been doing our vocal mix and mastering, and we're super stoked with how it's going. Hell yeah! So, so triumphant. Have they? I don't know if they offer this or not. I've never asked, but do they offer like a studio in the event you decided not to work with them? Who you just mentioned on a on the next single? Yeah, the, like Greg has people that he's offered to us, but we're really like we have like a super DIY mentality where we got the formula like, and it works it yeah, sounds great so yeah, don't exactly. change the formula it, I, exactly. I get it it's i get it like, we're not gonna fix it i get it i get what it it's crazy we we like spent all of our youth like age 14 to like 17 like going to a professional studio and like doing a whole like we'd spend a 12 hour day us little 15 year olds with you know god bless sean stack for Good having for patience for us that that um, cat recording in texas he moved from sacramento to texas fat cat recording sean stacks he is shout a out, god shout out. He's a genius. dealing but, with um, our teenage yeah, like, we've just been so involved in the studio life like going in the studio being there and so like we don't mind kind of embracing it on our own and just being like home recording because the tech has changed so much too in the last 10 years like Definitely. we've been doing this for that long and it's just like we've seen how it works in the studio now we just apply that to our own sessions gotcha hell yeah well you could get stumped right now with this futurama trivia get that hot sauce ready i think this is a hard one and i've seen a lot of futurama what is elzar's favorite item to use in his cooking uh, the spice weasel. Mother f That is correct. Alright, I have to do the hot sauce now. 
Well done. I gotta find something harder. The Shoei's gonna help uh, ease the pain because my lips are now on fire. Uh, do you guys, have you guys ever reached out to anybody about jumping on a, a single of yours, like maybe a feature? Uh, just, uh, I've been figuring that out. I've been meeting a lot of people down in LA, a lot of awesome musicians, you know, like some kind of more underground, some that have been popping off. And so I have this song actually, I literally wrote it like two days ago, and I, I do want to have a feature on it. And oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Very, very aware that the feature game is kind of the new industry now. You know what I mean? Like having, you know, having a feature on your song or you featuring on someone else's song. That's like the newest way. Not even new, but it's just like a really it's new for the like rock industry kind of being like so prominent because it used to be kind of like weird to have like someone feature on a rock song. But then Kellen Quinn went off and he's on like everyone's song now. It's true. Um, no shade. Moneymaker, bro. He's got a great voice. Like if I could do it, I, I would pour myself out for features i got Maybe a one day i got a buddy in la you have you guys ever heard of hollywood nightmare i believe so I, actually i um, yeah. the singer of hollywood recently? nightmare would fit in like perfectly if like a little bit of screaming he sings like he's he does all the singing and screaming but if like a little bit of screaming but predominantly singing similar style i think he would be perfect for you guys he'd probably do it for next to nothing also um oh yeah bro just send him our way Cool. I'll play you a song in a minute, but I do want to try. I'm going to try and stump you, and I feel like this one is way harder. <laughs> Only mentioned in two episodes ever. What is Fry's old girlfriend's name? Oh. Uh, it's only mentioned in the first it episode. With an M. It, it does with start an with an M. Yeah. It's Melanie. It is not. Melanie. It's not Melanie. Okay. It is oh. not Melanie. It is Michelle. You were Michelle. so close. Enjoy the Damn, hot sauce. I'm going to full screen you real quick so everyone can see it. Uh, I was hot on my lips already. I'll just hit this awesome magnet. There you go. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Hell yeah. Way to be a trooper. Way to be a trooper. So you said uh, you have an, a new single coming out next month. Uh, yeah. Which, yeah, which would be which would be January. This, like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Twenty, I think the twentieth, right? That's like the Friday. That's what we're shooting for. There's nothing. We technically haven't even submitted it yet. But no, yeah, we, the song's not even <laughs> done, bro. That is a Friday. Done. January twentieth is a Friday. Um, yeah, we're shooting for like the twentieth, uh, January twentieth. Um, we have a live stream on Instagram. Jesus, one second. <laughs> Yeah, while he's doing that, like, this is pretty exclusive. This is, like, the only place this release date's been mentioned. So, shout out anyone that's here, and y'all fuck, y'all rock. We call that breaking news around here. Breaking news. Breaking news. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> after, after that single is out, could you... Sometimes bands can't discuss everything that that's being planned for for promotion reasons but what else can you tell us that you guys have planned for 2023 do you have like a mini run plan as far as just like a, like a small tour um a couple more singles what can you tell us so yeah um we're shooting for sometime probably <laughs> mid to late march we're looking to uh do do a small run down I'll, I'll say we're, we're shooting for Texas. I, there, we've got a lot of love out there, so we're trying to kind of hit the lower little bit. Um, we're also thinking about maybe in the summer doing Pacific Northwest little stuff. Um, yeah, and then we just have so many singles that are already in pre-production that it, it's kind of at this point, it's just okay as soon as the song is done which at this point it's kind of we're getting one done every three weeks it's like all right when do we want to release this next one so like Pat, lots let's of new try to music. set this goal let's try to set a goal like let's drop new song I, every I, three I months drop like <laughs> six to seven songs next year awesome do it and yeah why not and just go the straight single like, route no no yeah here's the full ep just uh, singles only 
which I think you is know, kind of what yeah. what is like the hot thing to do right now. Yeah, and it's yeah, honestly, I mean like it's just that way because of the the algorithms of Spotify and Apple Music. Um it's just the it hopes of playlisting and I mean at this point it, yeah, it's just you just continue to like, build and build and build. And then you yeah, release like also, the album and it already has like 12 songs that have already been released. And it's like, oh, dude, I did like 2 million streams first week <laughs> from an album build for two and a half years. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. I totally know what you mean. Uh, fellas, we are we are almost out of time, but I do want to play you uh, a Hollywood Nightmare song. I don't normally do this, but I feel like if, if you needed a feature and you're willing to consider that, I think this band would be like a good option and I'm really close to these guys, so tell me what you think. Uh, yes, say they're playing the whiskey uh January twenty second, which is a Sunday. If you guys want to go, I could probably get you on the get guest list if you want to kick it. Dude, yeah, that would be yeah, would be that would be hell to, this would, so so Gav, uh so of course I I, I'm sure other bands can relate to this. Every song in pre-production has some stupid ass name that is never going to make the cut. Of right, the right. Real name. We have a pre-production song title called Gabaroni and Cheese right now that I think that that he would be a cool feature on Gabaroni and Cheese. Gabaroni and Cheese. Yeah, All right, cool. Down. We're like, we'll link up and like we still have to write the rest of the song, but it'll probably be the next song we drop. Um, and. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we I'd be down to throw that on there because like that's again the whole like a big part of our like group now is like trying to diversify the vocal, you know, share just because like I don't know with the whole attention span thing like having different voices you know pop up throughout songs I feel like can really change the way that songs are produced, um, and the way they get interpreted. Hell yeah, well gentlemen, I I very much appreciate you guys hopping on, man. You did not have to do this. It was a lot of fun though. I'm glad I was able to get yeah. one stump out of you, Pat, but I thought I was going to get two, but one is better than none. I thought I had it. Yeah. I, I was like, uh, I could tell you've seen a lot of Futurama, though, because those were not easy ones. But um, real, real, real quick, real quick. I've got the seven leaf clover tattooed on me. Hell yeah. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. I, I went with Futurama. I love it. Gentlemen, we look forward to the to the next single. Blame You's awesome. Ashlyn's really cool too, but I won't jam it that much anymore now knowing that Casey's not on the project. I want to support the current no, lineup. Don't worry. No, don't bro. Worry. Support don't all worry. of it, bro. Support it all. Yeah, okay. We're, Casey, we love yeah, the music. We're gonna like, play, if you like it, stream it. Got it. Yeah, we're going to be playing songs off with Attack on Robot Pirate Island. I'm going to be singing fucking Ready for Home live. We're still going to be playing those songs until we eventually phase them out don't worry about it stream everything you possibly can i love it gentlemen you your absolute pleasure i appreciate it we'll link up in january i hope and uh, you guys have a freaking awesome day man cheers i appreciate it lonely thanks fellas